So, uh, here's the reason I bought the trailer was to get this uh, car down there nice and safe and sound. I'd like to thank my friend Jack for giving me these ramps. These ramps uh, I don't use to load the car, but I can use them to load the motorcycle in the side door if I need to. But if you get on the internet and look about how to secure a car, there's a lot of different methodologies. I use this uh, crisscross strap methodology and there's some mounting points underneath the car where it's a uh, factory uh, provided jack stand locations and there's a little hole in there and the hook will uh, you know fit right up in there nice and you can strap these down so I think I had to adjust this load once and you can see how how tight those are and then in the front, I've got the motorcycle. And, uh, you know, this thing, this thing, I think I had to adjust the straps one time, maybe a click. So this thing doesn't really, doesn't really move. Now I picked up this motorcycle in Florida and I was trying to figure out how to secure this thing. Some people recommend a chalk. The chocks are basically, they're so wide they're built for like big street bikes so what I did was is I bought this called e-track at uh, Harbor Freight I don't know it's like 18 bucks for a five foot section then they make these D-rings that you can adjust adjust your load and um, these are one inch, quarter inch, one inch lags that I just drilled directly into uh, into the wood. There's some metal track here. I was going to get some metal screws. I didn't. And then I secured, I bought these real nice bike straps. These are Bike Master 2 inch. And these things are heavy duty. So I went right here to here. Then I wrapped this around the rear tire to keep it from sliding. I put the kickstand down because it just felt so so solid and then I locked the steering so the steering wouldn't work or wouldn't turn and then up front same thing I secured the front tire with a strap and then the guy at Bud's Chrome Nuts where I bought the motorcycle told me about these eyelets right here. You buy these little eyelets. They were like eight bucks a pair and it goes in your lower fork bolt and that just you know straps this thing down as tight as can be and as you can see it's not touching any plastic work. Um, you don't have to get soft ties and mess up your throttle. You don't get chafing on the side. So I was real happy with that. And I never had to touch the bike once. I mean, once I strapped this thing down, it was good. And then I just put my bicycle up front. I had this covered with a, a mover's blanket so it wouldn't scratch up. I took the mover's blanket out already. So anyways, and it's the same crisscross technique with these tie downs. These are, uh, I think, 3,000 pound working load for 3,000 pound braking strength 1,000 pound working load uh, tie downs from Harbor Freight and they use a you know more of an automotive seat belt type webbing as opposed to this type on these these cheapies here and I put a couple of these just as an added measure and you can see in the video in the back, they kind of moved around in the back. But anyways, I was amazed that my old Ford, 1993, you know, pulled this. The trailer weighs 3,000. The car's 2950. The bike's 450. You know, I think I'm total 7,000 pounds. 
and it pulled me up the mountains uh, without without any problem. So now I'm going to unload unload my gear. But anyways, this uh, technique worked well for me. I'm not an engineer. I just don't. What do we got here? I just don't like my stuff. I don't like to worry about my stuff flying around. You know, worst case thing would happen is this bike would come loose and go smash it into the smash it into the car, which uh, which did not happen. So, anyways, we'll catch you guys later.